Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Chris, and my group is Find Your High Vibe. And I'm also sharing into D's group, Turning Your Pain into Power. Welcome to the weekend. Um, so, something that is everywhere right now, I think. Well, it's always all over the place. Um, count your blessings. You know, like people have fancy signs or, um, I don't know. It's just everywhere. Count your blessings. And it's a good thing, right? Good morning, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, how much to pay you for <laughs> personal online yoga? Um, so count your blessings. And I realized it started to sound like a scolding to me. Like, you can't complain, count your blessings. It shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be a scolding. Someone telling you, like, you, you can't complain about something because you're blessed and you have all these other things. It's not like... We're humans, right? We're humans and sometimes you can't see some things, but that doesn't mean to scold yourself into appreciation. That doesn't work. Scold yourself. Oh, it's funny that you're here, Elizabeth, because I was thinking about this. Like when I was training for a marathon or if it was yoga day, um, I went to yoga class twice a week for 10 years with a couple of having a baby breaks in there. Um, and maybe I missed, I don't know, maybe up to a handful of classes and, or, or runs, maybe, maybe not, but it was always a good thing. And it wasn't something that I woke up and uh, made myself do. It was something I wanted to do. And if you have a spiritual practice or a physical health practice or what, whatever practice you have that makes you feel good and it starts to feel like a chore, then take a break or reevaluate. You know, people change, things change, needs, your needs change. Um, but don't let it become, you should, don't let it become a should. There you go. Don't should yourself into counting your blessings. Let that be a way for you to find yourself away, you know, away from negative thoughts or a bad mood. Um, to make yourself feel better, you can use that, count your blessings. Um, and something I realized, I don't know if I mentioned this, if I ever got in a bad mood or just down about how things were going for me, bless you, um, I would start to imagine, and don't get creeped out by this, I would start to imagine my obituary. Like, okay, things aren't going that great right now. If I, if someone wrote my obituary right now, what would I say? And I would start to go through it and be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I've, I've done some cool stuff. I, it's kind of my way of counting my blessings, I guess. But then I realized this week, I've been talking a lot about core values, um, and I am working on a PDF to post if you want to do that. Um, talking, And I realized the obituary exercise in my head was really just me assuring myself that I'm living in, my, in alignment with my core values. And I like that idea. So however whatever means you use, mechanism, maybe it is counting your blessings that makes you feel better and takes you out of a bit of a snit. Um, sometimes I just can't do it. I, I gotta let it, I gotta write it out. Although, you know, a walk around the block always helps. But don't let those things that you enjoy, that you look forward to, morning Stacy. don't let those things become a scolding or a should. So counting your blessings, you know, and don't, don't throw that on other people. Don't throw shoulds at other people. That's not nice. 
it, when someone's complaining, you know, just do your best to, to empathize, right? Don't throw them, count your blessings. <laughs> Don't do that. But on the other hand, if you have a practice or a schedule that you once looked forward to and now it just ain't doing it for you, then you can reevaluate, find something new, take it easy on yourself. It's okay. You know, it's, you got to accept how you're feeling in the moment and just honor that. Be good to yourself. Don't should yourself. Really. So that's my tip for the day. And um, I hope that resonated with someone. And I hope you have a lovely Saturday. And there's a uh, commencement speech tonight televised on all the major networks, 7 o'clock central, if you would like some uplifting, inspiring words today. I'll be there. Take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Like, comment, share. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth.